in this lecture we are going to discuss about a topic for the subject business mathematics the name of the topic is simple interest so what is the meaning of simple interest when you have some amount with you when you have some money with you that money is actually called as principal this money we are going to invest in a bank at some rate which is called as r percent the principal is capital p and this we invest for some number of years which is n which is number of years after some years you will get from the bank some extra money that extra money is called as simple interest this simple interest is given by the formula p into n into r upon 100 this is the extra money so at the end of the n years after n years the total amount that you will have with you will be amount is equal to the original investment which is principal plus this simple interest also you will get okay so this is the uh, formula for amount and this is the formula for simple interest now let us see some problems based on this topic so here we are supposed to find the simple interest on rupees 5000 at 8 percent so this 5000 will become principal this 8 percent will become the rate uh, for two years and six months now what is the meaning of two years and six months means the number of years is 2.5 years so the formula for simple interest will be equal to p into n into r upon 100 which is equal to 5000 into 8 into so sorry n is 2.5 number of years is 2.5 two and a half years multiplied by rate it's eight percent upon 100 now we will go in the calculator and see what is the answer we have 5000 multiplied by 2.5 multiplied by 8 is equal to 1 lakh divided by 100 so you will get 1000 so that will become 1000 as our simple interest now let us move to the next question we are now supposed to find the simple interest on 4000 rupees so the principal is 4000 rupees at 5% so the rate is 5% and that too for 15 months so this is 15 months now what is the meaning of 15 months how many years it is equal to it will be 15 upon 12 because we have 12 months in a year so if the number of months is like this you will just divide it by 12 so the formula for simple interest will now become p into n into r upon 100 is equal to 4000 into n is 15 upon 12 into rate is 5 percent upon 100 so this will just become i will multiply the numbers which are in the numerator which is 4000 into 15 into 5 upon denominators is 12 and 100 is also the denominator so this will become 12 into 100 now we will see the answer in the calculator so we have 4000 multiplied by 15 multiplied by 5 and that is 3 lakh and i'm going to divide it by 12 which is equal to 25000 and again i'm supposed to divide it by 100 so i will get 250 so the simple interest in this case is 250 rupees let's move to the next question we are now supposed to find the simple interest on rupees 5000 so principal is 5000 the rate is 7% and the number of years is 2 years and 9 months 
so two years means 24 months and nine months will be added to that so this will become 33 months so this means that when I calculate the simple interest I will get P into N into R upon 100 which is equal to 5000 into N is 24 plus 9 which is 33 months upon 100 upon 12 sorry because 33 months means 33 upon 12 years we will always calculate this in years multiplied by rate is 7 percent and this will be divided by 100 so i will get same thing i will do i will take take 5000 multiplied by 33 multiplied by 7 divided by 12 multiplied by 100 so if you use the calculator we will get it like this so we will multiply 5000 33 and 7 this is 11 lakh 55000 i will divide it by 12 96250 and again divided by 100 so i'll get 962.5 so in this case, I've got, I've got the simple interest as 962.5. So we got the simple interest for this problem. Let's move to the next kind of problem. Now here, we are supposed to find the rate of simple interest on rupees 5000, which is the principal. And that simple interest turned out to be 200 rupees. And for how many years? For five years so n is equal to five year so principal is five thousand the rate we don't know number of years is five and the simple interest is 200 rupees so how do we solve this problem so we know that the formula of simple interest is p into n into r upon 100 so simple interest is 200 so i will write 200 below it P is 5000, N is 5, R is R as it is because I don't know what is R upon 100. This 100 I will multiply to the left hand side. So I will get 200 multiplied by 100 is equal to 5000 into 5 into R. We want to find R. So we will push 5000 and 5 to the left hand side so that you will get 200 into 100 divided by 5000 into 5. Now we will use a calculator and find what is R. So it is 200 multiplied by 100 divided by 5000 divided by 5 so the answer is 0 0.8 so the rate is 0 0.8 percent let us see another problem so after how many years will 5000 rupees give the simple interest of 1200 so this means that the principal amount invested was 5000 rupees the simple interest that we have obtained is 1200 rupees and this was at the rate eight percent and we are supposed to find in how many years this thing will occur the situation will occur so again i will use the same formula simple interest is equal to p into n into r upon 100 so simple interest is 1200 principal is 5000 into number of years is n which i don't know r is eight percent upon 100 so this 100 will go to the left side and multiply so it is 1200 multiplied by 100 and this is 5000 into n into 8 so this 5000 and this 8 will go to the left side and divide so i will get 1200 multiplied by 100 upon 5000 multiplied by 8 is equal to on the right hand side n alone is there 
So now we will use a calculator and find what is n. So the number of years n is 3 years. Some more kinds of problems will be discussed in the next video.